Today we'll be giving this worn out dining room table a makeover. It has a beautiful veneer top, but it looks a little outdated with this color, so I want to update it and I'm especially excited about this makeover because this one is for my own home. Now let's flip it. The first thing I want to do is sand the tabletop. And I'm going to start by using an 80 grit sanding paper and then I'll work my way up in grits. Now I'm moving up to 120 grit. Moving up in grits is just going to help me get a nice, smooth, even surface. I go over the entire tabletop. And lastly, I'm using a 180 grit, repeating the same process. Now I brought my piece back in the house and it's time to give it a good cleaning. So now I'm cleaning the entire piece using a TSP cleaner. And when I finish with the TSP, I go back with just a damp cloth with water and I rinse to make sure that there's no TSP left on my piece. Now I've decided that this piece needs a bonding primer. So I'm using Country Chic's Clear Bonding Primer. As you can see, I tried to sand the beveled edge on the tabletop. It turns out that there's no veneer underneath the edge, so there's just press board if I was to sand. So I don't want to sand it and I want to leave the existing finish. Now the existing finish is extremely smooth and shiny, so I need to put a bonding primer on it to make sure that my paint adheres properly. This is my first time using Country Chic's bonding primer and I was so impressed. It's just so simple to apply. It goes on with such ease and it just glides on your piece. Because it was so simple, I decided to finish the rest of the base with the bonding primer. I'm not really sure what the finish is and it is a little glossy so I thought that this would help with the paint to adhere you know for the long term and I would cover all my bases and have peace of mind knowing that my paint wouldn't peel up or anything. Country Chic recommends that you apply one coat of primer and then wait several hours before applying your paint. I applied one coat of primer and then I waited overnight just because that's how it worked out for me. The color I chose to paint the base is called Soiree, and I'm using the two inch Country Chic brush to apply the Soiree. Country Chic's paint is a clay based paint, so it still has a chalky like finish, and you could use your water mister to move the paint, but I find with this paint that I really don't need to use it as often. Painting the edge of this table was really simple with the Country Chic 2 inch brush. I thought I was going to switch over to the 1 and a half inch Country Chic brush for this edge but I did not have to. The 2 inch worked just fine and it gave me really nice clean lines. Here we are about an hour later and my first coat has dried so I'm going to apply a second coat. Because I've put a really light color over black, I'm definitely going to need a third touch-up coat. So I usually just do one full coat and then two full coats, and then I'll go around the piece and see if there's any sections that weren't completely covered. If there's a little bit of the um, original finish or the black, uh, say on this piece, the black showing through, then I'll just touch up that section. Now for the top of this piece, I want to do a wash and I'm going to use Country Chic's paint in the color Cheesecake. This is a white on the warmer side. 
I love the way that the natural wood looks on this table, but the reality is the second I put my sealer on it, it will turn extremely warm. And I don't want it to be extremely warm. I just want it to be a little bit warm. So adding a wash is a great solution to this. So I just add a little bit of my paint and I add about equal amounts of water to it. Then I give it a really good mix and I'm still using the Country Chic 2 inch brush. I apply my wash in sections and for this it's really runny so I did not want to apply it all the way to the edges. I just left a little bit of room because once I wipe it back with my rag I can cover those areas on the edge. To wipe back the wash, I usually use a lint-free cloth. This lint-free cloth I've used so many times now that it has some dried paint on it, so it wasn't picking up as much paint as I wanted it to. So I just grabbed an old t-shirt. It was a cotton t-shirt and that worked really well too. But when you are doing your washes, I've, I've tried so many things, I really do like the lint-free cloth the best. For the remainder of the table, I continue applying the wash and then wiping back. Sometimes when you're doing a wash, you can do some designs or you can add a couple colors of your wash. But for this wash, I'm just looking to use it almost as a stain. That means I need to wipe as much of the excess paint off as I can. I continue the same process for the remainder of the table. And when my first coat was dry, I decided it needed a second coat. And this was because there was a little bit of unevenness. So I don't want a lot of coverage with the paint on this. I still want to see that beautiful wood grain. So the solution to this is adding a second coat with a little bit more water so that you can still see the wood grain, but you still get the coverage and there's no streaking or anything like that. And when my wash was fully dry, I went back to the sides and I just did a little bit of touch-ups with the color soiree. Now I need to seal my piece and I'm going to seal the base and the edges using Country Chic's clear coat. It's really important for you to wait 24 hours for your paint to dry before using their clear coat or their tough coat. This is to avoid any streaking. The clear coat is really easy to apply and I applied a total of three coats waiting about two hours in between coats. It seems like the clear coat dries really fast but Country Chic recommends to wait two to three hours so that's what I did and it worked out really nice and my finish came out beautiful. The top, I want to seal it with Country Chic's Tough Coat. And I'm using this because the top of a table is a really high traffic area. So I need it to be scratch resistant and water resistant, and that's just what this is. 
I gave it a good mix and then I poured it in a separate container so that I can easily apply it with the sponge. Just like the regular clear coat, I waited 24 hours for my paint to dry and then I applied this tough coat. And I'm applying it in sections very carefully. I just wanna make sure that I have full coverage and I just go, I apply it to one section and go on to the next. When you're done applying your first coat, if you realize that you've missed a spot or a few spots, don't worry about it. Just let the entire coat dry and then go back in with a second coat and you can cover it then. You should wait at least two hours before applying your second coat. Here's a reminder of what the table looked like before. And here it is after. I love this table so much. I have been planning it and planning it and I love the way the top turned out. It is my absolute favorite. I started working on chairs for this table and I was painting them in soiree, but I've stopped now because I'm now I'm thinking maybe I should match it to the runner and I could do driftwood or maybe canopy. Let me know which you would choose down in the comment section below. I would love to hear your opinions. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you next time.